It's another dreary afternoon across the Bluegrass State, but I am finally tracking much better weather into the region, and we'll do that next. A Somerset man is behind bars after investigators say the man he had tried to hire to commit a murder is actually an undercover deputy. A rally at the state capitol this afternoon to show support for a bill that would ban discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. This is WKYT News at 4. Good afternoon, I'm Jennifer Palumbo. It's a foggy afternoon across the bluegrass. Here's a live look at downtown Lexington where it's in the mid-30s right now. But much better weather is on the way the next few days. We may even hit 60 degrees. WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has a first look at the forecast. Chris? Yeah, that's 60 right now. The only thing keeping a little hope alive in terms of getting some better weather over the next couple of days. But you know what? When you've hit rock bottom like where we are now, where we've been for the past week, folks, only one direction to go from there, and that is up in the coming days. The look outside, Hamburg Pavilion in the distance, low clouds, fog, drizzle, a couple of snowflakes out there and the chilly, chilly temperatures. 35 degrees right now into Lexington, a little drizzle and snowflake action. Winds, thankfully, uh, aren't as bad, though we could use a little burst of wind to get rid of some of that fog. That may actually help our cause. We look at our live sky cams, and we still notice the big swing from west to east in terms of snow on the ground. Look at those western cams. Frankfurt, Louisville, E-Town, not so much. Still some snow on the ground, Lexington and London. Then you get into Moorhead, Campton, Jenkins, Easter Kentucky, a lot of snow still covered covering the ground. Defender Radar Network, a touch of some drizzle and snow flurry action. If you're playing along at home, it's 10 straight days now where we've had some snow flying across central and eastern Kentucky. Throw the clouds into the mix and we're starting to see clearing settling in across parts of northern Kentucky. That clearing line scoots in here later on tonight, sets us up for a pleasant day tomorrow. But if you're out and about this evening, some drizzle, some fog, and maybe a snowflake. Jennifer, temperatures will drop to 30 by 11 o'clock. Watch out for a little refreezing out there. When I come back in a little bit, we're going to talk about that 60-degree thermometer reading that is on the way, and then we'll track some more winter, too. Seven-day forecast gets busy again. 60 sound good. Thank you, Chris. We're learning more this afternoon about a murder for hire plot in southern Kentucky. Investigators say Jordan Nicholas wanted to hire someone to murder a Somerset man. But the person they say he tried to hire was actually an undercover deputy. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is in Pulaski County with the latest on the investigation. It's our top story at four. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Office says thankfully they were able to make a quick arrest after receiving a tip from someone who was concerned for another person's life. Early Tuesday afternoon, the sheriff got a tip that a man was attempting to hire someone to commit a murder for him. Investigators say that man looking to hire a killer is 26-year-old Jordan Nicholas. An individual who is intent on murdering someone, it's, it's important to act as quickly as possible. Pulaski County deputies began working the tip immediately, getting some help from the Laurel County Sheriff, providing one of their deputies to work undercover. Pulaski County deputies say Nicholas is no stranger to them and was actually out on parole at the time. Investigators were able to connect with Nicholas and set up a meeting with the undercover deputy just a few hours later. At that meeting, they say Nicholas had no idea he was asking a deputy to commit a murder. They also say he was wrong about the person he wanted dead. An individual he had been uh, involved in a drug deal with. Actually, he thought the individual was an informant for the sheriff's office, and in reality, he was not uh, an informant for the sheriff's office. Nicholas is in the Pulaski County Detention Center facing a solicitation to commit murder charge. In Pulaski County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Nicholas did not want to talk to us from jail. An Eastern Kentucky school board member pleaded not guilty to DUI charges today. Police arrested Estill County School Board member Amy Thomas for driving under the influence last week. They say she had difficulty walking, standing, and dialing her phone. She's also charged with carrying a concealed weapon, possession of a controlled substance, and wanton endangerment. The judge suspended Thomas's driver's license for 120 days. Her term as a school board member ends next month. We'll have details on the investigation on WKYT News at 5. State senators are expected to vote on education legislation later today that could create sweeping changes from kindergarten through 12th grade. Senate Bill 1 would erase some parts of statewide testing and also create a new structure for how academic standards are reviewed. 
It would also allow high school students to get credit for arts and humanities courses if they take certain language or tech classes instead. And under the bill, school districts would take more control over improvements and teacher evaluations. We'll have the latest on the vote from Frankfurt on WKYT News at 6. A big crowd in the state capitol this afternoon for a fairness rally to show support for the Kentucky Competitive Workforce Act. The House Judiciary Committee had a public hearing on House Bill 155 that would protect gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender workers against discrimination. It would make it illegal for people to lose their jobs or their housing based on their sexual orientation and gender identity. Opponents include the Family Foundation, which claims the legislation would be used to attack Christian businesses as well as Christian schools and adoption agencies. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner will have reaction from the rally live on WKYT News at 4.30. And we're working on a number of other stories for WKYT starting at 4.30. Amber Philpott joins us with, from the newsroom with a look at some more of the news in progress. Good afternoon, Amber. Good afternoon to you, Jennifer. Police in Scott County are looking for the man who robbed a Domino's. It happened around 2 this morning on U.S. 25 in Georgetown. Police say a man with a gun stole cash. Three employees were inside the time, but no one was hurt. We'll have the very latest on the investigation, including surveillance pictures on WKYT News at 5. Police in southern Kentucky are looking for thieves who may be targeting a specific church. Someone broke into the Oak Ridge Church of God in Whitley County earlier this week. It's not the first time the small rural church has been the victim of a crime. What the thieves stole this time baffles the pastor. Items like two liters of pop, garbage cans, and bags. He says he doesn't understand. Uh, it's very frustrating. Uh, you uh, live in a community that that uh, you would think would respect the house of God more. The pastor says the burglars also stole some tools and damaged a side door. We'll have more reaction from him on WKYT News at 4.30. That's a look at just some of the news in progress. Jennifer, back to you. Thanks, Amber. Now to a story making headlines across the nation at 4. The Republican presidential candidates are focused on their next contest, Saturday's South Carolina primary. Polls show Donald Trump has a commanding lead. Meanwhile, as the Democrats gear up for Saturday's Nevada caucus, a new poll has Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders in a virtual tie. Scott McLean has the latest from the campaign trail. With all eyes on South Carolina, President Barack Obama is making a bold prediction about the Republican frontrunner. I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. And the reason is because I have a lot of faith in the American people. This man has done such a bad job, he has set us back so far. And for him to say that actually is a great compliment, if you want to know the truth. Republican South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley also making her stance on Donald Trump clear, choosing to endorse Marco Rubio. We don't want a president that's going to come in and just bash and sit there and tell us what we're not doing right. But Donald Trump doesn't seem to need Haley's support. A new CNN ORC poll has the billionaire with the support of 38% of likely South Carolina Republican voters, 16 points ahead of Ted Cruz, and the rest of the Republican field trailing well behind. But candidates are still chasing the 31% of undecided voters. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton is well ahead in South Carolina polls, but Saturday's Nevada caucuses come first, and new CNN ORC numbers show the gap between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders has disappeared in the state. The two candidates are now statistically tied. Our next president. Hillary Clinton is campaigning in Chicago Wednesday with the mother of Sandra Bland, a black woman found dead in her jail cell after a traffic stop in Texas. Both candidates will be back in Nevada before the end of the week. In Washington, I'm Scott McLean. Getting a driver's license is a rite of passage for teenagers. And for some, the next step is getting their own set of wheels. We'll tell you what a new report finds are the best first cars for first time drivers. Automakers are testing cars that can drive themselves. We'll show you what it's like to ride in one next on WKYT News at 4. Thinking about building a new home or remodeling yours? Then don't miss the new home and remodeling marketplace. Builders, remodelers, suppliers, and designers will be on hand to discuss your project. The new home and remodeling marketplace, February 26th through the 28th at Alltech Arena. Details at hvalexington.com. When someone is injured on the job, that injury can devastate a family. Most people live paycheck to paycheck, and any loss of income can be a significant hardship. I'm Matt Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. There are questions you may have. 
When must I report my injury? What benefits am I entitled to? Where do I receive medical care? You can find answers at ForThePeople.com. Don't wait. Your future is in your hands. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. When it comes to your heart, there's one team that's leading the way to better care in the area, Baptist Health. Our team exceeds national standards for heart attack care and has been recognized with top quality ratings for cardiac surgery. From clinical research trials to advanced imaging and surgical options, our heart specialists provide nationally recognized comprehensive care right here at Baptist Health. I love him, but he can be so forgetful. That's probably why he hasn't signed up for Simple Saver. All you have to do is call or click. I called Simple Saver. We'll save energy, help the environment, and get free energy credits. It's so simple. <laughs> A message from Kentucky's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. In Kentucky, elder abuse is on the rise. Most nursing home residents say nothing in fear of retaliation. Watch for signs, bruises, scratches, bed sores, and cues in body language. If you suspect nursing home abuse, you need to seek justice. Call Hughes and Coleman, 800-800-4600, 800-800-4600, before it's too late. No matter what time it is or wherever you are, your Toyota dealers are always open at buyatoyota.com. Now, during the final days of Toyota's Anytime Anywhere event, get 0% financing for 60 months on this stylish new 2016 Corolla or lease one now for just $159 a month. So visit here and then come in here before it all ends February 29th. Toyota, let's go places. Thinking about building a new home or remodeling yours? Then don't miss the new home and remodeling marketplace. Builders, remodelers, suppliers, and designers will be on hand to discuss your project. The new home and remodeling marketplace, February 26th through the 28th at Alltech Arena. Details at hbalexington.com. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. The fate of a global oil deal hinges on Iran. That begins today's WKYT Money Watch. Saudi Arabia and Russia have agreed to freeze oil production at January levels to boost prices. But they'll only do it if other oil producing countries do as well. The wild card is Iran, which just had sanctions lifted and has signaled its full steam ahead for oil production. Samsung is upping its smartphone game against Apple. Images and video leaked today show the new Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge are waterproof and dust resistant and come with wireless charging. Samsung is expected to reveal the new phones this weekend. Parents shopping for their teenager's first car should look for boring and slow cars. That's the recommendation from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. It finds the best mid-sized car for teens is the 2012 Ford Fusion, and the best large car is the 2012 Buick Regal. Every major, major automaker is testing cars that can drive themselves, but researchers say there's a long way to go before those vehicles take over the roads. One major hurdle is giving the cars the ability to make the right decision when faced with common sense and even moral dilemmas. Peter Greenberg explains. So, Professor, this looks just like a regular car. To see where driverless cars are heading, we went for a ride with Professor Raj Rajkumar at Carnegie Mellon University. So for all those people who are telling us we're gonna, we are going to be driving in a driverless car tomorrow, you say? Uh, just wait. The magic all happens in here. Because despite all this technology and decades of research, the driverless car still has a long way to go. The biggest nightmare that people like me who work on autonomous cars have is that somebody deploys this technology prematurely and it causes an accident, God forbid hits a stroller. 
Gil Pratt heads the Toyota Research Institute, a billion-dollar global initiative from the manufacturer to fast-track the driverless car. How do you program in human decision-making, moral and ethical choices, into this driverless car? What you're really talking about in artificial intelligence is called planning. Planning for a near-infinite number of ethical scenarios like this. Say your car is approaching a head-on collision. To avoid the oncoming vehicle, your car can only move right because crossing the yellow line on the left is illegal. But what if there's a person, or even a group of people, to your right? So that's what we would do. Back on the road at Carnegie Mellon, our driverless car suddenly takes a detour. Now you just had to take over. And Professor Raj Kumar takes the wheel. Evidence that the autonomous vehicle still has miles to go. For CBS This Morning, Peter Greenberg. In the coming years, there will be more changes to make cars drive on their own, but researchers say true autonomous cars are still a good 10 years away. Dealing with a lot of clouds across the area as of now, those low clouds still lingering into the overnight, but some better news showing up over the next few days. We're pushing 60 after the break. For years, police officers executed drug busts and then used the money from the stings to improve the department. Better training, better equipment, better weapons. Now that's gone. It does put a strain on the department itself. It did provide uh, funds to buy equipment with and stuff. WKYT investigates what police departments are doing to help make up for the shortfall to keep you safe. If you're going to uh, be in the ball game, you got to have a player on the floor. Protecting for less, Thursday at 6 on WKYT. Hi, Shane Huffman with the Neil Huffman Automotive Group, and we're celebrating the grand opening of Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where you can get two brand new 2015 Honda Civics for just $449 a month. All those details are on our website, and remember, Huffman has it now in Frankfurt. I'm Alex Trebek. If you're age 50 to 85, I have an important message about security. Write down the number on your screen so you can call when I finish. The lock I want to talk to you about isn't the one on your door. This is a lock for your life insurance, a rate lock that guarantees your rate can never go up at any time for any reason. But be careful. Many policies you see do not have one. But you can get a lifetime rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. Call this number to learn more. This plan was designed with a rate lock for people on a fixed income who want affordable life insurance that's simple to get. Coverage options for just $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. Act now and your rate will be locked in for life. It will never increase. Guaranteed. This is lifelong coverage that can never be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Guaranteed. And your acceptance is guaranteed, with no health questions. You cannot be turned down because of your health. Call for your information kit and read about this rate lock for yourself. You'll also get a free gift with great information. Both are free, with no obligation. Don't miss out. Call for information, then decide. Read about the 30-day 100% money-back guarantee. Don't wait. Call this number now. Call 1-800-440-4200 for your free information and a free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-440-4200. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-440-4200. 1-800-440-4200. Call now. Hi, Shane Hoffman with the Neil Huffman Automotive Group, and we're celebrating the grand opening of Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where you can get two brand new 2016 Honda Accords for just $4.99 a month. All those details are on our website, and remember, Huffman has it now in Frankfurt. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 100.1 WKQQ. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. If you're thinking to yourself and you're, that today is a lot like yesterday, you know what? You're pretty much dead on with that thought process. Not much change out there from this same point 24 hours ago. Don't believe me? Look at the numbers. Zero for the temperature swing in Lexington, into Mount Sterling, Richmond, and Danville. So it's the same thermometer reading as we had 24 hours ago. Some areas a little colder. Look at western Kentucky, though. Notice the orange. 
That's coming our way as we go into tomorrow. Tomorrow at this time, it's going to look like we dropped a little red paint bomb on this map. It will explode with temperatures that are warmer than where we are now. 35 Lexington, 34 all around us. We go into the low and mid 30s for most of central and eastern Kentucky. Defender radar network, we know we've got the clouds, the drizzle, the occasional snow flurry out there, sugar coated road or two in northern Kentucky this morning. But overall, it's a gloomy sky. Looking at a little clearing. Check this patch of some clearing coming into northern Kentucky as of now. I was hoping we could get that in to the bluegrass region right before sunset. Probably not going to happen at this point. We'll have to settle for later tonight and into the day tomorrow to get in on some of that clearing. Once we get into it, hello, mid and upper 40s. After a cold start to the day, out and about tomorrow evening, those numbers will drop quickly toward the low and mid 30s. Hour by hour forecast. Boy, it feels good to be in a much calmer weather pattern. Past two weeks, been a little harsh around here. We go through tonight and tomorrow morning with readings that will be upper 20s to low 30s. Still got to watch out for a slick spot or two. Model is likely a little underdone with temperatures tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 40s. Let's go into Friday. Now the model plays a little catch up here. Pushing close to 60 into the afternoon. Partly sunny skies. Winds are going to be a big, big player, though, as we go into your Friday. Hello weekend. Saturday will feature a chance for a shower or two, especially to start out the day. Temperatures are warm again into the afternoon. So if you do get a shower over the weekend, especially Friday or Saturday, it's not going to hang out very long. Upper 50s to low 60s as we go into our Saturday. Typically, this time of year, you get a big warm up. It's not going to last long, and it's going to be accompanied by gusty winds. We've got a new hour by hour wind gust forecast just coming in. 7 o'clock Friday morning, winds are gusting 25 to 30. Noon on Friday. 50 miles an hour for some of those gusts showing up on the computer model runs. That'll carry us into Friday afternoon and through the evening as well. So if you're going to be traveling, you're in a high profile vehicle with 40 and 50 mile an hour wind gusts, both hands on the steering wheel. We are gripping that bad boy. Low 60s coming up into Saturday. Better chance for showers around on Sunday than next week. Got to watch the potential for winter fighting back in on a big, big note. Right now, let's get a check on traffic. Here's Officer Don. Well, look at Lexington traffic flow this afternoon with nothing major holding us up on Nicholasville Road and Harrodsburg Road. Not seeing too much red along those routes. Uh, just backups where we'd expect approaching Southland Drive and just before the circle for outbound Nicholas Road, especially. There's a crash at Georgetown and Ash Street that is causing some problems outbound Georgetown Road right now. The left lane is blocked. Uh, drive times, well, impacted toward Nicholasville. Uh, nothing significant happening in, from Lexington to Jessamine County at the moment. You're dealing with about 14 minutes. To Georgetown will take 15, 20 minutes to Paris on Paris Pike with an average speed of about 46 overall. And in the Madison County, about 22 minutes across the Clay Ferry Bridge. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Officer Don. Some Lexington students are headed to the National Performing Arts Festival at Walt Disney World. And Deanne Stevens out and about with the Dunbar High School Drama Department. Hi, Deanne. Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are here at Dunbar High School where they are planning for a very special trip. They're headed to Walt Disney World tomorrow, all a part of the National Performing Arts Festival. Brooke No, one of the co sponsors of the Dunbar High School Drama Department, with us. And you guys have been working very hard at this. One of your students even reached out to me and said, Deanne, we've been working so <laughs> hard. Come talk to us. Tell us what you're doing. Um, okay, so we applied to the National Performing Arts Festival um, earlier last year. Um, and and we picked this show because we thought it'd be really cool at Disney World. Um, and so they've been working since December every single day um, so that they can go and do this 20 minute segment. And if we are selected, then we actually get to perform for the live audience at Disney World. So you guys are performing a part of Mary Poppins, right? They get like 20 minutes to show what they got? Yes, yes. Um, it's 20 minutes, so we get a little bit of um, mom, dad, Bert, Mary, everybody. Okay, let's take a look. A secret cat appear among the cables. Another world to be unfurled. The angels bits and rainbows. A chimney stack looks tall and black against the twilight sky. But never fear, there's room to appear. We're up to find out
So best of luck to the Dunbar High School Drama Department headed to Walt Disney World tomorrow for the National Performing Arts Festival. Coming up at 4.50, we'll have more from the Drama Department. Back to you guys. Thank you, Deanne. Adderall is a popular drug to treat ADHD, and it's sending more and more young adults to the hospital. Details in better living. And should children be screened for autism? What the experts have to say next on WKYT News at 4. Tonight's Powerball jackpot is $189 million, and Friday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $104 million. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. While it's difficult to think about the death of a loved one, the caring people at the Lexington Cemetery make it easier. After all these years, they still offer many spaces for traditional ground burial as well as mausoleum burial. And the Lexington Cemetery has operated its own on-site crematory since 1977. Lexington Cemetery offers many memorialization options, like the scattering garden and niches, and the memorial arbor for remembering those whose remains are elsewhere. Choose the beauty and dignity of the Lexington Cemetery and crematory. A home is the largest investment most families make. It's important to choose a contractor with the knowledge and experience to guide you through the home building process. From selecting the right lot to selecting the finishes that make your home unique, M.A. Conley Construction is by your side from beginning to end. Our experience brings value to every home we complete. M.A. Conley Construction, a Madison County family serving all of Central Kentucky. Make time this spring to escape to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where the only thing you'll want to do is have fun in the sun. Let the sound of the ocean's tide take all your cares away and leave you refreshed to experience something new. It's your moment to let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. It's time for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. A national task force finds there is not enough evidence to recommend screening for autism spectrum disorders in young children. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force looked at children a year and a half to two and a half years old who did not have any concerns raised by family members, caregivers, or doctors. The panel found no direct evidence that screening would benefit those children. Misuse of the stimulant Adderall and related emergency room visits are up dramatically among young adults. That's according to a new study from Johns Hopkins. Researchers found the problem is mainly in 18 to 25 year olds who take Adderall without a prescription, often getting the drug from family and friends. Changes in gut bacteria could be an early indicator of type 2 diabetes. Researchers in South Korea observed changes in the microorganisms before any symptoms of type 2 diabetes developed. They say this discovery might be useful for early diagnosis and treatment. If you think you're being healthier by skipping the soda machine and going to Starbucks, you may want to think again. A new study finds some flavored coffee drinks contain more sugar than soda. The group called Action on Sugar analyzed 131 hot drinks from coffee shops across the UK, including Starbucks. They found some of the drinks can contain up to 25 teaspoons of sugar. That's three times more sugar in one can of soda and more than three times the maximum adult daily intake recommended by the American Heart Association. 
For more health education and consumer news, go to WKYT.com and click on Better Living. Now let's head over to Chris. It's a foggy and chilly afternoon, but better weather is on the way. Yeah, we just got to hold pad and uh, wait until we get into the afternoon hours tomorrow, and especially by Friday as temperatures take off on a gusty wind. A little look outside right now. If you didn't know any better, you would swear this is the same view we were showing you yesterday. You know what? Pretty much it technically it is. Technically it's a different day. Tell that to the weather, 34, 34, 35, with mostly cloudy skies, some fogs, and drizzle, the occasional snowflake that is out there as well. Those clouds are pretty much socked in across the area, but look at the clearing. You're actually seeing some sunshine just to the west of the Covington area, and that's going to try to sneak into our northern counties before the sun calls it quits today, and that's a sign of things to come for the rest of us as we go into our Thursday. Bring on the 60s. Yeah, it's going to be a, just a taste of it. Winter okay. fights back hard early next week. All right, we're glad you're with us here on WKYT. Sam Dick and Amber Philpot are next with WKYT. WKYT News at 4.30.